Hey folks! In this video, we will build a simple blog with Bootstrap Studio. You will learn how the blog loop component works and how you can turn any folder of pages in your design into a dynamically updated list of posts. No CMS or WordPress needed. We will begin with a blank design. I will switch the theme to Lux to give our tiny blog a more stylish appearance. Then drop a container. We will give it a bit of top and bottom margin by holding shift while dragging. Then we'll drop a heading and change it to latest trips. Here I have a folder with cover images we'll be using for our blog posts. Just drag them in to import them. We need to create a folder for our blog posts. You can give it any name you like, but we will go with blog for this example. Inside, we will create a page for our trip to Paris. Let's set up the basic layout as we did on our index page by dropping a container and giving it some margin. Inside it, we will add a link that will bring readers back to the main page. We'll also include an icon of a back arrow. We're ready to add some content. Open the Pages Properties dialog and navigate to the Blog Options tab. This is where you can enter additional info that will turn your page into a proper blog post. The first thing we'll do is choose our cover image from Paris. Then, enter a title for our blog post, a short excerpt, and a date. To make the info we just entered show up on the page, we can use the special blog post components. Drop a blog post title, and it will automatically show what we entered in the title field. The same goes for the blog post excerpt and image. Remember to activate the responsive option to make the image adapt to the screen size. The only thing left to do is add the actual content of the blog post. That can be anything you would like. Text, images, charts, galleries. For this example, we'll just generate a couple of paragraphs with placeholder text. To show the command palette, press Command-P on Mac or Control-P on Windows and Linux. Then type the lorem command. We now have our first blog post. So let's show it on our index page. Here we will add a blog loop. This is a special Bootstrap Studio component that can turn a folder of pages in your design into a list of posts. We'll select the blog folder we created as our source. Our Paris blog post showed up immediately. When we expand blog loop, we see a loop-based component with individual loop items one for each page. Inside the loop item, we have the same special blog post components. They work the same way here. Each blog post component shows the blog options info of their page. One new component you haven't seen before is blog post link. It's a regular hyperlink that always points to the blog post page. The result is that clicking the card will lead users to the blog post page. This way, your list of posts maintains itself. You don't need to update the URL of each new blog post you add. It'll be filled in automatically. Our layout needs a bit of work. Right now, the post takes the entire width of the page, but we'd like to show three per row. This is easy to do since Blog Loop uses bootstrap rows and columns to structure its content. This means that Loop Base has the same options as row, 
and you can use the Perot settings. With our basic layout set up, we can now add more blog posts. We'll duplicate our Paris post. You can see that the new post shows up in the blog loop immediately. Let's customize it. Double-clicking any of the blog post components opens the Blog Options screen, where you can quickly make changes. Our second blog post is ready, and if we go to our index page, we can see that all of the new content has been updated. Let's magically add a few more posts. The rows need a little breathing room, so we'll increase the vertical gutter. This looks better. Let's open a browser preview and see what we have so far. Clicking on the cards loads the corresponding blog post page. Everything looks good, but the excerpts are a little long. To make them shorter, select the excerpt and set the Length Limit option. You will show only the first 80 characters, and because loop items are always in sync, you can see that the setting is applied to all of them. Another improvement we can make is to add dates. Grab a blog post date component and drop it inside one of the cards. The rest will sync up and show a date as well. This makes editing the list a breeze. Pagination is just as easy. Just activate Show Pagination and set the Per Page option. If we head over to our browser, we can see this in action. The pagination is functional, but you might notice that the URL does not change. That means that if we reload the tab, we'll always land on the first page. To fix this, we can activate the Add URL Parameter option. This will include the current page number in the URL. This way, the browser's history buttons will work and users can share a link to a specific page. Our blog is mostly done, but there is one more thing we need to do. It would be nice if under each blog post we show the latest three from across our site. To do this, Head to a post page and add a container. Then, drop a blog loop and select the blog folder again as the source. And limit the number of posts to three. Now the only issue is that the current post is also included in the list. We can fix that by switching on the Exclude Current Page option. To show this section under all of our blog posts, we can right-click the container and select Copy to Multiple. Here, we'll check all the blog posts and activate the Link Copies option. This way, any changes we make to this component in the future are synced up between the pages. With this, our blog is ready. Let's try exporting it and giving it a final test. Just choose where you wish Bootstrap Studio to write your website files and hit Export. You get a folder with HTML files and assets which you can upload anywhere and get a working site. The blog loop components are embedded as regular HTML. This makes your site SEO-friendly and super fast to load, without having to deal with WordPress or another CMS. Thank you for watching. In this lesson, you learned how to use Blogloop and the other blog components to build a simple travel log. But you can use Blogloop for so much more than that. With it, you can build portfolios, testimonial sections, online courses, and much more. We look forward to seeing what you create.